Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Um, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman, <clears throat> uh, Derek, Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek. On the early when I see the script study in, in, in prayer line on this third day in January 2021. Uh, Chantel, good to see you in here. Young I'm Here is here. Renee Dorsey in the house. Uh, Demina up in here. Who did I just see? We're moving so fast. My niece is up in here. My big bro, Elder G, and, and uh, Chantel in the building. Uh, Yosef, Elder Yosef. In, in the place to be, Melissa is in the house, my beautiful mother, a young faithful Barbara up in here as well, Demina holding it down, Yamina Yahoo is up in here, we got Stone, Stone is on this morning, big sister Felicia is in the building, Mother Joyce is up, up in the house, my pal Al is up in here as well, uh, Good morning, good morning. Th those of you, you know, that got your tag game and the most high leads you to to share the best array, the basor, the gospel with others, get your tag game going on. Those of you that's cool with the share game, get that going on as well. Kimiana <clears throat> in the building. Share allows you to share with your platform and whoever, you know, <clears throat> messing with you like that. Tagging is that's personal witnessing. Like you, you getting at somebody, letting them know that the, the word is, is going forth. We pray you deem that the word is worth sharing with others. <clears throat> Let's go to Second Corinthians this morning. Let's do this. Excuse me. Second Corinthians um, ten and <clears throat> excuse me. Ten, ten and ten. Ten and ten. Was that cool? Second Corinthians ten and ten. Look what it said. Thank you, niece. Thank you, Yamina. Keita, good to see you in here, young lady. <clears throat> Look what it said. If it, for some say, his letters are weighty and forceful, but in person, he is unimpressive. <laughs> and his speaking amounts to nothing. Wow, what a thing to say about the brother. Such people should realize that what we are in our letters, when we are absent, uh, we will be in our actions when we are present. We do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some, with some who commend themselves. They're not going to try to get into a contest with those that beat their chest and talk big, right? Not going to do that. When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, <clears throat> they are not wise. What do you say? Letter clause of the 12th verse. When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise.
interesting scripture. Interesting scripture. Let me add a scripture, y'all. Let's go to James 4. And 17. That's all I want. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. That's all I wanted. Thank you, niece. Thank you, Yamina. <clears throat> Got to clear my throat. It's potassium, y'all. Messing with this banana. Why not get some more? <clears throat> Listen. Um, Shaul, or they call him Paul, so maybe I move forward saying Paul. But we'll see what I do. But um, the Corinthian. <clears throat> Ecclesia, he had to check them a lot because they was full of paganism and they had all kind of stuff going on. And he, but he was dealing with them, right? He was coming with a level of truth that would rub folks the wrong way. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I can relate with stuff like that. Unfortunately, because it's definitely not intentional. I, I preach the way I preach because I'm trying to really help people. And there's a lot of false doctrine that the Most High revealed to me. And I just got to teach what, 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 he, what he give me. That's all I can do, right? <clears throat> but he, he was sending letters. You know how people be bold. They, they, they was accusing him. You know how folks talk crazy to you when they're on Facebook and Instagram and stuff, right? <clears throat> but if you was raised with him, you know they like with a little weenie a little bit. They not that tough. <laughs> Folks get gangster. Folks got money and gangsters on Facebook and, and Instagram. Same type of things they're accusing him of. So he was responding to that, saying, look, um, I'm preaching the level of truth against sin, and it rubs people the wrong way. He said, but don't get it twisted. I will. I, I, I'll back it up. <clears throat> when I see you, I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to tell the truth. And the truth hurts. So then he began to disclose, um, like, the competition. <sighs> How people, in the, they're competing with one another. He went there with it. And it shouldn't be a competition. It definitely is not a competition in Yah. Period. That carnality can't live in a real ministry. It's just no competition, right? <clears throat> so he addressed that as well. In the 12th verse, he said, we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves, <clears throat> who get the most applause, you know, who preach the, preach the best, who teach the best, and not go on with that, <clears throat> Right? <clears throat> And there should be a certain level of uh, anointing, period, because that's what we're here for. We need the most high involved in our personal affairs so that the anointing of the word will continue to transform us. And to be honest, some people have more of anointing to transform lives than others. But we're not the one that's comparing like that. And my re recommendation to anybody, including myself, I don't listen to people that don't edify my ruah. I ain't got time for it. I'm not going to sit up here and listen to somebody preaching a bunch of false doctrine. I just don't have time for it. It's, it's a total waste of time. I should be uh, uh, trying to be edified. And I like to listen to people that after they preach or teach, I feel edified in my spirit and it make me want to do better, live better. I ain't got time to be listening to, to garbage. Some people like to listen to garbage because they're not convicted because they live in scandals. 
And some people like got itching ears when they hear the certain type of folk is not going to tell them what you're doing with that man's wife. <laughs> Y'all would have asked you what you doing, what you doing, what you doing with that man's wife. <clears throat> Y'all do that quickly too. Threaten to kill you too. You and that man's wife. That's how the most I get at. <clears throat> Listen. But we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who compare themselves. When they measure themselves by them, when they when they when they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they're not wise. You know why that, that's not wise? <clears throat> Because we're not the standard. I'm not the standard for holiness. Nor are you. We should be living a standard of holiness. Don't get it twisted. But we're not the standard. The word is. The most high is the only standard. Can I talk to y'all this morning? <clears throat> Battle. Good to see you on. The true standard of how we're supposed to live comes from the most high. And 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 and, and him only. Did y'all know that? Paul or Shaul is a vessel that know the standard of the Ruah. And that's why the Most High entrusted him to preach to them. James Harris, good to see you on family member. There's a standard of a lifestyle. And religion don't don't fulfill that. You got <clears throat> religion don't fulfill that. Just straight up. True relationship. Did you know the reason why I read James 4 and 12? Listen to this then. <clears throat> the reason why I read James 4 and 12. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. The most high led me to read that because each of us have a relationship with the most high as an individual. We come together corporately, but all of us are dealing with him as a sole proprietorship, as an individual, 100%. And, and, and his revelations to each person is on an individual basis. Listen. The Bible do say what I say on the one, I say on the all. There is a, a um, universal truth. And it's a total truth. And what we're doing is we're being introduced to more of that total truth on an individual basis. We should be growing in con. We should be growing in faith. We should be growing in grace, unmerited faith. We should be growing. <clears throat> I told y'all in time past that, you know, so, some some plum sinner that don't know the most high and you bring the basura to them, the, 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 the gospel, and they receive it, and then they want to be baptized because they're ready to follow the most high. And so you go and you baptize them and they come up out the water and they say, F yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I love you. Thanks for saving me. Religious folks, here we go with that. Compare yourself by yourself. Religious folks that know that that's a sin. Let not filthy communication come out your mouth. Denise Wilkins, good to see you on. <clears throat> Religious folks will look at him and say, look at that. that that's a demon. And in, 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 in this instance, in this parable, he's not. None whatsoever. Might be saved than you. Because he has a clear conscience towards the most high. And that was his way of saying thank you. And you don't cuss, and maybe you don't say thank you nearly as much as you should. And the first move he did was say thank you. <clears throat> he just used colorful language, and it's probably super colorful to you. <clears throat> but that's how he was raised. He don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to keep teaching. You can believe that. <clears throat> but all y'all with me, Banks, good to see you on. Religion for boy, that's a devil. Get him a Lucius. 
all them the religious folk all on him. Run him off. What do I do? Are you with me? When the word come to him, right? For the record, y'all. When the word come to him, let not filthy communications proceed out of your mouth. Then he go, oh, okay. So, oh, we don't talk like that here? Oh, okay. He going to say, cool. Because he has a pure heart before the most high. <clears throat> so here we go again. They that compare themselves amongst themselves is not wise. Because certain people are doing things that the most high told you don't do. You can't justify you doing it based on them. <clears throat> Looking at them. Um, Leslie Sutton, good to see you on. If we're working on our soul salvation, like the Bible said, we're fear and trembling, right? <clears throat> and we're taking our relationship with him seriously. So we're going through the metamorphosis process as an individual. And say as individuals, you know, you know, you read every day, right? And so you got folks that read every day. And then when you check back in, uh, some, some person, the first week of their salvation, they read the whole book of Matthew. Check back with you. You read two chapters. They read the whole book. In the same amount of time it took you to, uh, to read two chapters. One, uh, because comprehension is different. Two, because people read faster than us. Three, because maybe they got children and you don't. <laughs> can, 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 are we talking? So, so to illustrate again, we're not the standard. We're not the standard. The most high is. And so me reading the whole book of Matthews in seven days and you read two chapters. If I'm weird, I'm going to say, oh, that's all you read? Well, that's all. I mean, I don't be breaking my neck reading all day. If that's acceptable, yeah, that you only... Only do two, then I'm, I'm going to just do two. You see, measure yourself by yourself. And they're not the standard. Yeah. Too much is given, much is required. But it still comes from that one total truth. We're not getting different gospels and different religions added in and all that old dumb stuff. We don't play that game. What I say on the one, I say on the all. <clears throat> But you're responsible to, for him to know to do good and do it and not to him and to sin. If you know better, do better. And you and you, y'all told you don't drink. They drinking now. You want to drink? Well, you's a drunk. You pissed on yourself. Can I talk like that? What? Well, stop peeing on yourself, and I won't say pissed. You didn't got drunk now. You want to fight. But those that don't have a proper relationship with the most high is going to look at other folk and do what they do. Oh, that's what we do. No, we do what the word say do. You see folks, you know, like say if you are part of this ministry, because <clears throat> you can be uh, joining and just being faithful to it. We can have a conversation if you don't want to have it. But if the word, if you're faithful to the word in this ministry and you're being transformed by the renewing of your mind and you find yourself living better than you were before, then that's where you need to be. You don't need to be around a bunch of religious stuff because your family was raised in that church and, and my granddaddy, granddad and all, and, and, but yet they, it's a bunch of mess and you ain't growing. You need to be where the word is. John the Baptist wasn't, wasn't hating when folks began to go to the Messiah because that was the pure word. He had a good word. Yakawan, uh, 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 Yakawan and Mercer, John the Baptist, they called him. He had a great ministry, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. But when, 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 when they found the Messiah, that's, that, that was it right there. You don't get no better than that. He wasn't hating because it's not a contest. That's what I was just reading. It's not a contest. We're trying to be uh, 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 transformed by the renewal of our mind. So you find a good word to where you're growing. So you start easing away from maybe the religious institute that you was formerly a part of based on 
the word and your personal growth because of the word, right? So you chime in every day. You look around, you see somebody else that don't chime in as much as you. Now, if your eyes is on the wrong thing, that's why the Bible say, looking on Yahushua, who's the author and finisher of your faith, looking on the Yahushua, not people. But you notice that some people only chime in once a week. So now you say, oh, well, all I got to do is chime in once a week. No. The Most High got you on that, but you don't know the behind the scenes. You don't know what, what's going on in their life. You don't. You, you don't know why they, they only chime in once a week. <clears throat> could be married with children. Could have got three jobs. Could You just don't know. That's why you're measuring... <clears throat> It's not based on people. You don't do what they do or not. You don't, you don't do what they do or not do what they don't do based on them. You do what the most high leads you to do and to him that knows to do good because the most high will let you know what's good. Aretha Jones, Aloha. The most high will let you know what's good to do for you. I said I said there's only one total truth. He ain't going to tell you one thing and me a different. It's just based on the circumstances. If he told us all to give, for example, right? He told us all to give, but I give a dollar <clears throat> and you give a thousand a month. Well, you don't know my finances. You don't know You don't know what I have or what I, you don't know. So you can say, oh, they give a dollar? Man, I ain't giving no thousand dollars a month. Veronica, good to see you up. You can't compare yourself to people. You can't, you can't get discouraged because of what people do, nor can you be, well, you can be encouraged, but not to the point that they become your standard. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Definitely be encouraged. You can be encouraged by what people do, and you can be discouraged by what people do. But what they do or don't do should never be your standard. Your standard should come from what the Most High revealed to you. Straight up. Because watching folks can be discouraging. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And if you believe you're going to measure yourself by that, and you might be the type of person to start being in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Based on people, you're going to have a problem. Again, going back to what is that, Hebrews 12? Looking on to Yahushua, who's the author and finisher of our faith. We're looking at the word. You know the Messiah is the word, y'all. John 1 and 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us as we beheld his glory as, as of the only begotten of the Father, full of unmerited favor and truth. That's talking about the Mashiach, y'all. That's why he said, looking on to Yahushua, looking on to the word, who's the author and finisher. The word already spoke what eternal life looked like. The word already spoke what damnation looked like. The word already told us to be faithful. Did you know somebody that only chime in once a week could be being faithful? Based on circumstance. So you can't borrow of their faithfulness because you're able to get it in every day. <clears throat> you got some folks that's before the word every day and they're growing, believe that. And it's better to be able to get it in every day, tell you the truth. But some folks can't. Now you do have some folks that ain't. Now let's talk about that. You got the folks that can't, but when they can, they right there. You got some folks that, that that might chime in once a week, right? But they could chime in every day. They just don't like y'all like that. They, they that's just not a high. They say oh, they was raised in the in the Baptist church where we went to church every Sunday once a week, and that's just their diet. And that's why you can't compare yourself by religious institutions. 
Not only is it not wise to compare yourself with an individual, you can't compare yourself with religious institutions by the way they do it because you might find out the way they do it is wrong. On this journey, you get personal uh, revelations. Oh, it's the truth. Studying to show yourself approved. A workman uh, that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You, hung, you hungry. Bible says he did hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. You might be hungrier than somebody. You might be thirstier for the things that are most high than other people. Some people literally from the childhood. Some people literally intentionally will be in the most high's presence once a week because that's how they was raised. Then when they find out that this is a total lifestyle, and you've been bought with a price, and your life is no longer your own, and he try, he's trying to stay, keep you in his presence so he can transform you. The government know that. That's why they have you in school all those hours, five days a week. Because he has an agenda that he want to get inside of you. He'll make it illegal for you not to have your children show up for his programming, his television shows, they call it programming. Why is he doing that? Well, he's a thief. He stole it from the most high. He stole that concept. I got to keep this information in front of them, even though all the way down the lies to turn the lie into truth. The times we live in, right? Where they'll call evil good and good evil. Well, he got to keep evil in front of you, calling it good long enough for you to bite. He got that concept. From the most high. He wants you to meditate day and night in what he talking about. Chasing money. He wants you to meditate in naked bodies and and, 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 and yeah, yeah. That's why he got them all over, all over the TV, all over billboards, all in the magazine, because he's perpetrating his agenda. He he stole that concept from the most high. So it's good if you're blessed enough to be in his presence daily. Oh, you you blessed. If you can stay in his presence and, 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 and listen to the word and studying and, and praising, oh man, you blessed. And still be able to survive in this wicked world, you are blessed. Even willing to go without some of the finer things in this natural life, that you can enjoy the finer things in the spiritual life, you blessed. <clears throat> and those are based on decisions. That's why you don't want to be, you don't want to measure yourself by yourself because your decision to do once a week is based on someone else in, or a religious institution's decision to, 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 to be in his presence once a week. Oh, I'm just trying to tell you. That's how you break bad habit. That's how the enemy is exposed with a lot of things we do by habit. Oh, y'all know it. We do things because we thought it was right because that's what they did. Then kind of find out they was wrong. It wasn't a sin to wear red. It wasn't a sin to have a cup of coffee. Come on, man. We thought all kind of stuff was wrong. Y'all heard the story <clears throat> of when the woman, the woman uh, every uh, holiday, she'd uh, hell a day, holiday, whatever it is, right? If we, I ain't going to teach the, what the holidays really represent, right? I mean, their holidays, right? This wicked place holidays, right? But during the holidays, right, you got a woman and she cut, she cut, she cut the rump off the roast. Big old chunk too. She buy a roast, big old expensive roast. She she cut the rump off of it and throw it away. And then and then and then put the roast in the, in the thing and cook it. And her husband finally one day say, "Sweetheart, why do you cut the rump off the roast?" He said, "Cause my mama did it." And he said, oh, "Why she do it?" She said, "I don't know." Call an answer. He called her mother and said, "Why you cut the rump off the roast?" She said, because my mama did it. <clears throat> why she, Why your mama do it? I don't know. He, he asked her. So he called the, uh, uh, her mother <clears throat> and said, Granny, why you, why, you, why you cut the rump off the road? She said, oh, oh, because my pan was too small and I couldn't afford, you know, a bigger one. So I just cut that part off and it fit right in there just fine. Y'all get that? Following, blindly following some mess <clears throat> when you should be studying yourself. You should have your own 
personal relationship with him. I keep trying to tell you again. It ain't number one universal truth. He ain't going to have you all weird like you found out something that don't nobody else know. Come on off that weirdo, spiritual weirdo stuff. Have you ever met somebody spiritually weirdo? Just, woo, woo, what you, you sure that's the rule of Hakadash? You call it the Holy Ghost? That, that, that ghost don't look too holy. To... I'm not talking about some weirdo stuff. Oh, did you know, you know what y'all revealed to me? Go on with that. I be looking at folks. They be out they doggone mind coming to me with that mess. I, you know, I be merciful. I just look. Oh, my goodness. I got some more preaching and teaching to do for sure. Mm -hmm. The folks say the darn, you talking about children say the darndest, some adults, religious re uh, adults say the darndest things. That's why, look, we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with someone who commend themselves in a contest. We ain't in no doggone contest. You racing against uh, uh, yourself. You trying to buffet your own flesh. You trying to cause yourself to bow down the truth. Literally. Tell, oh, see, listen, how many disobedient believers do you know that's comfortable in their disobedience? I, you know how many of them I know? Do you know almost the whole ecclesia is full of folks like that? And I'm not saying this one. I'm talking about uh, uh, totally. Could be in this one too, but I'm just saying People are comfortable. The Bible says there's a way to seem right to a man, but then there's the ways of death. And the way of a man is right in his own eyes. That's why Jeremiah 17 and 9 say the heart of man is deceitful above all things. Because we because we, we kind of build a comfort. I'm talking about people that you would look at in the ministry and say, boy, they need to grow. They in trouble. Well, go talk to them, and, they, and, they, and you say, how you doing? Blessed! You're like, oh, for real? Yah is good! Well, you's a rascal. You's a spiritual rascal. You're not faithful to Yah. You don't give. You don't forgive. You cuss. You get drunk high. You're sexually weird. And you say, <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. You want to hear the truth? Keep chiming in. <laughs> I don't know what, where people get their comparisons from. <clears throat> what what do you compare? When you say you're blessed, what is your comparison? Why? I ain't sleeping under a freeway. What that got to do? There's folks sleeping under the freeway that love y'all and obey him. What you talking about? I ain't sleeping up under the freeway. When you start to look at things from a carnal perspective, then your spiritual answers are going to be weird. How blessed are you and you're a fornicator or adulterer? You lie and you cuss. And you're not faithful to Yah. You're just a wandering star. You're all over the doggone play. You don't answer to nobody. But yet you say you're blessed. And then if I ask you, how are you blessed? I had a glass of water. Did you know there are some children in Africa ain't had no water? Okay. Let me, let me lean your forehead over here. Let me pray for you. Now just lean on in. Pastor Israel, Adam, good to see you on. Come on, let's talk today. Lean your, lean your, <laughs> lean, listen, I was talking spiritual. Can we talk spiritual for a minute? No. N nobody in there? Spiritual? No. Oh, no, that's it. Huh? Okay, well, yeah, you blessed. You had a glass of water. We can't take that for granted, huh? <laughs> I'm finna go. Because you in left field. Listen. <clears throat> The 12th verse, look at it. It says, we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with someone who commend themselves. Beating your own chest. Okay, that's cool. Why are you beating your chest? Oh, God. I'll preach that boy over there. At that convention, I'll preach to him. Finally, he got me about six years in a row. I said I was determined. I sang better than her. Come on, talk to me. It's worship. That's what it is. Real talk. It's worship. 
We do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some, some people that's proud, boastful, or their measuring stick. You know how men is. We're always competing. You know, pissing contest. Yeah. <clears throat> there ain't no room for that in y'all. Now, if you talk dominoes and spades, okay, we can do that. Chess game, feel me? We can do that. We might play around, put the gloves on. See if I can touch your chin. <coughs> we ain't gonna get crazy. Not, not in the rule. I ain't gonna try to knock all your teeth out like I used to try to. Listen. We do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves on something else. We don't even into that, right? When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they're not wise. There's no wisdom in that. Because if you beat me, don't mean you're going to heaven. If you if you if you if you better than me, don't mean you. <clears throat> and domino, that don't have nothing to do. If you out preach me, he look at the heart. See, see, y'all don't see his man. See, man look on the outer pin. Y'all look at the heart. Nor can you compare yourself because we're not the standard. We're striving towards the standard. We're walking in perfection. We're walking in what he revealed to us. And he'll continue to reveal more and more. And we'll continue to grow in him. So we're walking in perfection while being perfected. Are y'all with me? We're walking in perfection. To him to know to do good. The good he revealed to me, I'm doing it. But yet I'm still being perfected. Because he's going to continue to reveal how I can do better. And get better and do more. Are y'all with me today? We're, we're in a metamorphosis process. We're being transformed. By the renewing. The transformation is has an ing, an ing. We're being transformed by the renewing. Ing. Repeating. Yeah. You can be better today than you was yesterday. And if the most high bless you see you tomorrow, come on, talk to me. <clears throat> is y'all with me today? I'm running out of time. This ain't number the sermon that. But I'm running out of time. Yeah. Listen. Menfi, young Menfi, good to see you in here, young lady. Shayla. Ha! Gotcha. <sighs> we do not dare. I'm finna go, y'all. You got, you, you got people, they're not, it don't seem like they're faithful because of things that's over and beyond what you know. Dialysis and doctor's appointments and children and emergencies, all kind of stuff be going on. And if you start mimicking them, you're going to come up short because they're not the standard. You can have two people to chime in once a week. One person is in sin 100%. Straight up. Disobedient. Know they should be in the number. <clears throat> know they should be faithful. Know they should be example. Know they should be example to the younger that's coming in. They know it, but they won't because they're carnal. They're into themselves. 100% in the sin. Then you got someone else that has the exact same schedule that, that chime in once a week and they're faithful. And they could be more faithful than someone to chime in three times a week. Because the person to chime in three times a week really could really give themselves to Yah, be in front of his word, which ain't going to do nothing but save their life and then equip them to be example to save other lives. Because li literally... All things work together for the good to them to love Yah and it's called according to his purpose. And he got a purpose on, on a, each and every one of us. It's a purpose. And you didn't make that purpose. He did. 
So you can't say where you should be and what you should be doing. He do that. No way in the world I thought I'd be preaching eight times a week. There's, no, there's nothing in my wildest imagination that I ever imagined to be preaching eight times a week. Never in my life have I thought that. But it ain't up to me. And what I got to do is to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not. I got to be led by him. Denise, I'm trying to tell him. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? He dictate that. So to him that knows to do good, to him it is sin, and lightweight is not any of your business to the point of you comparing yourself with folk. Real talk, you can't do that. Don't you ever in your life let granny, grandma, grandpa, dad, cousin be your standard. Bishop, make sure they have a standard if you're following them. That's why that's why Shaul said, follow me as I follow the Mashiach. If, if, if the person ain't following the Mashiach, you shouldn't be following them. But your standard, the most high can put more on you because he got a bigger call on you. But we all, but we all, we all got a call, and it came directly from him, directly from him. Nobody else. But there's one total truth that we all responsible for. We are all supposed to be faithful, and everybody faithful look different. We should be doing, giving him one hundred percent, because ninety nine and a half won't do. We should all be obeying him as he revealed truth to us, and we should all be doing it. I'm not going to be on them all. Why? Because, I, you know. Well, you, oh, you taking the day off? I'm going to take one too. I didn't say I was taking the day off. I said I'm not going to be there because of X, Y, and Z. Now you want to follow me, so you're going to take a day off. The most I didn't get that to you. He told you to be faithful. I'm being faithful. I can't come. You can. You ain't because I ain't. It ain't that you can't. I can't. You can. I ain't. You ain't. You tripping. And I'm not your Elohim. You got folks that can support ministry. They don't. Why? It ain't, it's not like they can't. They just ain't. Should they? Yeah. <clears throat> but are they? No. Oh, you don't give? I always give. Oh, I'm going to stop giving to Look like y'all still blessing you. <laughs> you think. <laughs> if they was blessed, they'd do what he say. <clears throat> it's just to depend on how you spell blessed. <clears throat> or what you think blessed is. <laughs> I'm finna go, y'all. It's, it's time for me to go. Are y'all with me? You have examples. Did you know? The most high, put it, it's, it's like in Corinthians, the third chapter and all that, and more places, Romans. But listen, Corinthians is in there too. But did you know there's vessels of honor and dishonor? Did you know if the most high give you a snapshot because our lives is an open book read of all men. I'm finna go, real talk. And the Bible say, know them that labor among you. Say if you was privy to seeing someone that don't obey y'all. Just not faithful to them. Just do whatever they want to do, right? And you're aware of that. There's vessels of honor and dishonor. And did you know, to know them, the labor among you, you, you there's some people going to be the perfect example of what not to do. And the most high will allow them to hang around for that reason. So you can see what not to be like, what not to do. You'll see exactly what unfaithfulness look like. And then there's going to be people in the same house. You're going to see people that obey him. And the Bible says, mark them uh, uh, that walk in perfection. Walk, mark them, pay attention, notice them that obey him. 
because they can encourage you. They're not your standard. They're encouragement. The most high is your standard. Because he can have a higher standard on you than them. But you're going to see the what not to do's and the what to do's. But everybody should be looking to him to whom we all have to do. And that's Yahuwah. Is that all right? I think that's all right. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you humbly to know how gleaning the truth of your word, because thy word is true. Continue to illuminate your children, quicken us, make us alive until you arrive back to come get us. Continue the transformation process. We're looking on to you, the author and finisher of our faith. We're not looking to each other for that. We definitely appreciate encouragement. We definitely appreciate seeing examples. And we pray for those that warn us. Don't be like that. There's warnings walking around here that are horny, that are mad, that are mean, that are rude, that are unfaithful, that's fickle, in and out, double-minded. And you give us revelation, not only to pray for them, but not to be like that. As we look on to you and you transform us into your image, we'll be careful to continue to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the match the name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Most high answer it for you, Demina. But you know, you can give with me anytime. It's good. Hallelujah. That was the uh, lesson for the day. Is that Amon? Is that Pastor Bill? Oh, is that Pastor Bill? The, you know, the screen's so small, I can't see. And then the pictures is even smaller, but right on if that was you. Um, anyway, thanks for hanging out, y'all. I, I pray you were Baruch. I pray y'all got something out of it. In fact, if you did get something out of the lesson, feel free to push the share button so somebody else can be uh, Baruch. You know, as well. Winter. I like that name. Winter. Winter Milton. Good to, good to see you on. Oh, Big Sean, good to see you on, man. Uh, y'all, thanks for hanging out. Y'all want to talk about the word? All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. I forgot to say thank everybody that finance supports this ministry because you help it. And those how I can bless you for it. You told us not to muzzle the mouth of the ox to tread out the corn. You're supposed to support ministry. And if you believe this is good ground, I say thank you. Because, again, you're supporting this ministry. And prayerfully, this ministry is supporting you spiritually. Is that all right? Thank you, Chantel, for posting the number. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. We're going to get on there right now. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch Shalom. I'm gone.